right. So who is this Herman guy, this hermeneutics guy? Can you tell me why we should care about him? And can you make it in a list of no more than three points and use alliteration? So go. Uh, well, personally, <laughs> as a student of Joel Osteen, I don't know. Uh, uh, it's just, I've, uh, I don't know. I hear about this guy all the time, but I don't, I don't know. Uh, well, I mean, hermeneutics is, um, is a science of, of interpretation. And technically it's not just uh, a Bible thing. Like there's, there's kind of a, uh, it, it really comes down to, what we do before, during, and in some senses after uh, we study a text, like uh, um, in, in, uh, historically, hermeneutics referred to like the the the. It's kind of like putting our tools in order, or putting our exegetical tools in order, um, and so, um, and that's still a big part of it. Is saying like, okay, so what what are the tools I'm going to use? How am I going to use them? Um, and so it, it's it's kind of like uh, what epistemology is to philosophy, hermeneutics is to reading texts. Like um, not just what do I think or what do I read in our in our case, but how do I think about what I think and how do I read what I read and and how do I go about pulling pulling out pieces? Because of course, um, everyone has a hermeneutic. Everyone has an interpretive grid. Um, but it's kind of like, cause you know, see, I'm trying to show off the fact that I know some philosophy too. So I'm like, you know, it's kind of like the unexamined, uh, presu uh presuppositions are the ones that are the most dangerous. Same thing with hermeneutics. The un the unexamined hermeneutic is the one that's probably going to get you into trouble. Right. And so, and, and that's one of the reasons that, um, that I, like the subject is because it does deal with our presuppositions and those presuppositional uh, uh, leaning podcast. Um, we, we, we sometimes don't um, always recognize that when we're, we're approaching the text, we just think, okay, I've got me, my Bible, I can sit down read it. Uh, Jesus did some things. I'm sure I can pull something from my daily life from that and I'm good to go. Right. Mm -hmm. But, um, but, but there's more to it. And, uh, everyone who approaches any text to anything, Homer's Iliad, uh, the life and times of Julius Caesar, uh, the phone book, uh, th there are different presuppositions that Western people bring to it, that Eastern people bring to it, that, um, uh, you know, that uh, we, when we approach the Bible, uh, we have to realize that it's kind of a, a book that we want to say is for our time, but it's also out of our time where we're reading stories that happened at a time and place in history. Um, but it's also something that people in the past thought the, 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 the future uh, people of the church needed and were important. And I would say that, so this is why, you know, hermeneutics is, is so essential to an apologetics podcast. Um, and not just because, one of the best examples of apologetics we see in the scriptures is the apostles in the book of Acts. And what, and the repetition there is that they devoted themselves uh, to the apostles teaching and to prayer. And, and so, so you've covered, you've covered the prayer and now, and now we're talking about um, how to devote yourselves to the apostles teaching and actually understand the apostles teaching as the apostles teaching. 